welcome back. Today's video is going to be on shrimp pies and I did a salmon pie recipe for you guys I think last week so go check that out it will be linked right here. Click this little eye and you'll see that video. And this is very similar to an aloo pie but instead of aloo or potato it's filled with seasoned shrimp. So I'll have the aloo pie video linked here as well so just click this eye here and you'll see it. So I know a lot of you are fasting for Lent so this is a perfect recipe. So if you guys want to see how I do this, then keep watching. So I'm going to get right into the recipe. First of all, we're going to make our dough for the pies. And what you want to add is a little bit of salt. And just remember, all these ingredients are going to be listed in the description box below. You also want to add some baking powder, as well as a little bit of granulated sugar. And this is optional. I just like to add the sugar for a little sweetness. Now you just want to mix all these ingredients. And now add some water to make a nice soft dough. Don't add all at once, just keep adding until your dough becomes nice and soft. So once your dough is nice and soft, now you're going to cover it with a damp paper towel or a damp tea towel and let it sit for about half an hour. So I'm going to start off by making my seasoning mixture and I have some garlic, some pimento peppers. This has a lot of flavor but not too much heat but sometimes you can get some pimento peppers with lots of heat. I have one and a half hot peppers. These peppers, they're not too hot, but this red one is a little bit hot, so I'm just using half of it. And this amount I'm making is for salmon pies and shrimp pies, so you want to half this amount to make just for one set. But I'm just going to make a big batch so I can make the two sets of pies. So along with this, I'm going to add some culandro or bandania or shadow benny. This is what it looks like. If you can't find this, then you can use cilantro. If you can't find this, then you can use cilantro in place of it. It's not as strong as bandania, but it'll work. So now you're just going to add everything to your blender or chopper. And the trick here is you don't want to add too much water. You just want to chop it up. You don't want to add too much water. So I'm going to add a tiny bit of water just to get the motor going. So this is how the seasoning is going to look. I do have a green seasoning video on my channel but it includes a lot more herbs and I just want these basic herbs in my green seasoning. I'm not adding any scallions or anything to this. Or size. So I have some shrimp here. These are fairly large shrimp. You can use any size you want. I like to fill my pies to the max so I'm using a lot of shrimp. So what I'm gonna do is chop these into smaller pieces. So one shrimp I'll chop it into about three or four pieces. And if you wanted you can put it in your food processor and chop it up really finely like how I would make um, shrimp wontons. You can go check out that video. I'll have it linked in the info above and I'll also link it at the end of this video. So all I'm gonna do now is just chop it up and then when I come back I'll show you how to season it. So once you've chopped up your shrimp now you want to add in your green seasoning and everything I use here will be listed in the description box below. So just give that a mix. Now add some salt and pepper. Now 
add a very little bit of this lemon pepper. This is optional. I just like to add a little bit to any kind of seafood dishes. Some thyme, dry thyme, or if you have fresh. A little bit of soy sauce. This is ginger soy sauce. Also, if you want to, you can add a little bit of ground ginger. I'm not going to add any ginger to mine since this soy sauce has a little bit of ginger flavor. For pies, I don't really like the ginger flavor too much. But if it was wontons, yeah. So if you do use the fresh ginger, then use just a little bit. Just add a little bit of ketchup. And then I'm going to add a little drizzle of sesame oil. This is hot sesame oil. So it's a little bit on the spicy side. So now just let this sit to soak in all the seasonings. I think half an hour should do it. And then we'll start cooking our shrimp. So I'm going to cook the shrimp now and it's not going to take long. It's going to take about four to five minutes. So I have my heat on medium. I'm just going to add some nonstick cooking spray. This is coconut oil. Just going to add a little bit. And once that heats up, I'm just going to add a little bit of ketchup. Now add your seasoned shrimp mixture. So after five minutes, the shrimp should no longer have that translucent color. It's gonna look kind of pinkish, whitish. So I'm gonna turn it off, taste it now, make sure it has enough salt and everything else. And then just let it cool and we will fill it in the pies as soon as it cools down. So after half an hour and your dough has rested, now you want to make about seven to eight little dough balls. After you've made your dough balls, now you want to cover it back with a moist paper towel or moist um, tea towel and just let it sit for the next 5 to 10 minutes. So now I'm going to fill my fish pies. I have my oil heating up. It's on medium heat. You just want to let that heat up until it's nice and hot. And you'll need your dough, some dry flour, and I like to use a bale nut to roll it out because I like to fill up the dough with as much filling as I can. You just want to put some dry flour, open out your dough. And some of you may want to fill it like this and just seal the ends and open it out. But when you roll it out, you get to fill it up more. If you've seen my aloo pie video, you'll see how much I filled mine up. So this is a good size. Just does any extra dry flour off. And now add your shrimp filling. still a little warm but that's okay. And fill it up as much as you could. Because it's in pieces it's kind of falling apart but that's okay. Um, fill it up as much as you could. I hate when you bite into a pie and all you get is flour and you have to reach to the center to get one little scrawny piece of shrimp. So now you're gonna pull your two ends and squeeze it tightly to seal it. Make sure it's sealed properly. If it's giving you a little bit of trouble to seal, just take a little bit of water on your finger, paste it there and add a little bit of flour and it's gonna stick really well. So once you've filled it, now you're gonna gently spread it out. See if you could spread it to the ends of the dough.
and that's all you have to do now I'm just gonna set it onto this floured plate and wait for the oil to heat up and then we'll fry it so when your oil is nice and hot you're gonna add your shrimp pies in and let it cook for about four minutes two minutes on each side until it's nice and golden brown and you want to keep turning it while it's frying just so that it cooks evenly so after about 30 seconds you want to turn your first side so it's been about four minutes now and it's nice and golden brown I'm gonna take them out and place them onto a tray lined with paper towels and try not to stack them one on top of the other because then the oil from the top one is gonna leak onto the bottom one and it's just gonna absorb too much oil so just let it drain completely by itself so I'm gonna finish them up and I'll show you what they look like when it's finished so the shrimp pies have cooled down a little bit it's just warm right now it's not too hot so I'm gonna cut into one and show you guys what it looks like I'm gonna save mine with some cucumber chutney you can find the recipe to this in the info above I'll have it linked and you'll see it at the end of this video as well so I'm just gonna cut this open I'm gonna use this seam as a guide to cut it open so you can just place your knife right there and it'll just open really easily and just add some of your cucumber chutney you can also add some tam brown chutney or tamarind chutney if you want I like to eat mine with cucumber chutney so that's perfect now so that's one shrimp pie with cucumber chutney so I hope you guys enjoyed the video leave me your comments down below if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to see all my latest videos and I will see you guys in my next one Bye!